The Loop Starter. This is a great place to kick things off. Let's go through it. To use the Loop Starter, go to the channel rack and hit this icon. Choose your genre. Let's go for some techno. And the Loop Starter will load loops that work together and match the genre. You can re-roll individual sounds. Or replace everything with the die icon here at the top. Mm. You can switch genre at any time. Let's try some hip hop. It's also possible to lock in on sounds. Take a look at this percussion. I'll mute the other ones by clicking them. I like this and want to keep it. So we can right click its die and press locked. Now it will stay even if we use the global reroll die. Below the loops, the loop solder also generates fitting drum samples for the genre you choose. So these are some nice hip hop drums. Let's mute the other drum loops, and we can create a new drum beat with the one shots. If you're working with a genre where you don't really know where to place the steps, let's generate some drill here. You can right click the samples and hit generate steps. And it will generate a fitting pattern for that genre and that sound. Through the global die, you can also choose to generate steps for all channels. The loop starter also allows for exploration. If you find a sound that matches the style you want, but that isn't quite right. Maybe this top loop here, for example. Listen. You can right click it and press find similar samples. And FL Studio will locate samples that are alike. Drag it into replace. And listen. Mm. We can also play around with our sounds in the loop starter. Let's open the menu for the chords here. And here we can pitch it down a bit. The loop starter is a quick way to get inspired. Maybe you now want to add a melody. Load the plugin through the plus icon. I'll go for the capital Rexo here. Right click and open the piano roll and try a melody with your loops. Now where do we go with this? Once you have something you like in the loop starter, you can use this icon to send it to the playlist. Here you can start arranging the song. Note that you can only have one loop solder active at a time. So if you want to save something but keep experimenting with the loop solder, it's a good idea to send it to the playlist. So now you know the essentials. Let's go through some more of the functions you might be wondering about. Change project tempo. Depending on the genre you choose, Evil Studio will change the BPM to a fitting one for it. If you turn it off, it won't. The number here determines the pattern length. Right now it's set to 64 steps, which is 4 bars. If we set it to half, 32, it will only be 2 bars. This button toggles the step sequencer slash piano roll view. So we can see our drum steps like this, or like this. The icon here toggles loop mode. By default, the loop mode is set to 1 bar. This is useful, since we can place our drums here at only the first bar, and they will loop throughout the entire loop starter length. You can place more bits to change this loop. To be two bars, for example. However, if you want to add a longer melody or a bass line, you might want to turn off looping for it completely. To create something longer. Then you can right click the loop mode button and click loop all channels. With this, you can now turn off looping for certain sounds. Here it is turned on and turned off. Now, when you close a project where you use the loop starter, you will be asked about a whole bunch of samples. These are ones you listened to but ended up not using, so you can choose to delete them from the project if you want. And two common questions. Where do the sounds come from? The loop starter pulls its sounds from FL Cloud. Who can access it? It's included in every edition of FL Studio. And that's it! Have fun with it!